Hello, underwater spelunking fans. I'm Kevin Rifa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. We've been talking about bits and bytes and, and how data lives on a computer, but I want to back up for a minute before we get into nibbles and hexadecimal, which really start to build the cornerstones of the way data lives and is represented. The whole idea of all of these different ways of representing data all come down to one thing. And that one thing is preservation of space. How much space does it take? In other words, how much data storage does it take to hold data? Now today we don't even consider such a thing with multi terabyte hard drives. But back in the early, early days, back before the Dead Sea was even sick yet, we had to very much preserve storage space. Maybe we didn't even have hard drives, we had buffer space on chips. So what that meant was every single byte of data or every single bit of space was at a premium. Well, of course, a bit level is the smallest amount of space we need to store data. And there is data that only takes one bit to represent. But once we start getting into bigger spaces like letters and words, well, if we still continue to represent those in ones and zeros, rather than finding a more efficient way, our drive would be filled with ones and zeros. So instead, we had to look at, okay, what was the next stage of data representation? Data in the early days was represented in, uh, in three bit chunks rather than eight bit chunks. Um, we then break it down into nibbles where there's two of those in a byte because much data can be rep represented as a nibble, but you still have zeros and ones. So then this is where we get into the hexadecimal representation where hexadecimal for one byte has two hexadecimal characters, one character for each nibble in a byte. So it all comes down to how can I represent this data in the smallest amount of space possible. I can represent four bits with one single character. Now if a number equals 10, well that's two digits. I don't want to take two digits to represent that. So I'm going to represent that with the letter A. Confused yet? Well that's okay because the next couple of episodes are going to deal with nibbles and the very, very important hexadecimal. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Three Minutes Max.